This like is the uh, cable top bracket. Shifter, shifter cable bracket. I ended up uh, doing like a little prototype of the prototype and from the machine. We're just gonna throw it on, see if it works. I might have to do a little bit of um, hole look. adjusting. Hole adjusting for sure. Okay, cool. Let's but go. this is gonna hold the bracket back here. Okay. You kind of see it? Yep, yep. So it. this is gonna hold it back here, and uh, this it's gonna is be thicker material. Thicker oh, material. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's just the. Um, and then this is, this, this is like, you know, not bad. this is the prototype for the front one. I'm basically just gonna weld this together and cut it and bolt it on, and we're just gonna use that to get our our angles and yeah. actually shift it and see what it looks like. All right, nice. Prototype, prototype. Now you're gonna um, you're gonna make another one. Yes, I have to. Okay, cool. Prototype shift cable bracket, guys, in the works right now. There you have it. Cable bracket, shift cable bracket coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It fell, you gotta get it. Oh, you rescued it. Hell yeah, bro. Bring it over here. Let's go. Okay, wait. Oh, there you have it. Right. That's gonna fit way better. Way better, way better. Alright, guys. More shifter cable bracket. The shifter system is coming up. Come on over here. Okay. Okay. Another important part of the OEM arm is cutting out the three and an eighth inch hole. Which important. Right very important. Look, very. Right here. You already cut it out. Look. And go. then what you do is right you there. make your little. Oh. oh. Camera okay. Okay. Camera okay. Camera okay. You make your little marks here, and you cut this little. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Woo! Now, this, that? ladies Boom. and gentlemen, is just the beginning of the OEM. Just the beginning. Just, just the, beginning. the beginning. Just the beginning, guys. OEM arms, as you said, it ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. Thing now, since this is just a tiny high, which is okay, it's not a big deal. But that second thing, we're going to have to extend, so it, it's going to stick out this way, right? So one side we're gonna have to make longer just so that we have room to go down. So good, you look great, I like you, I can't wait. A first time, a first day, you so fine, I'm so late, you sip wine, I drink straight. We got RPM in the house. Uh, yeah, I got my action. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be at TRC, right? Uh probably with a front-wheel drive car. Our oh, front-wheel drive car. Yeah. Chad's gonna be there too with his that's not his all-wheel drive oh, thing. What's going on with these? So yeah. No, he just got some stuff done to him. Chad is doing some final touches here and uh, some clutch business. Got a sleeve there. The shifter is all done. I mean, for now. Chad's gonna explain this in a minute. Check that, guys. See that? You guys saw when that was made. So we're gonna see what's up. Come here, check this out. How did the shifter do? How did shifter go? I'm gonna show you oh, guys. Check thing. this we'll out. Look All at right. the cardboard. You see that movement? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do is obviously the spring's a little bit in the way, so yeah. we're gonna figure out how to move that spring out. But my goal here today is to try to figure something out. To put them, we're actually gonna put the master on the inside of the car and I'm going to tap it into the existing reservoir for the brakes too. Oh, nice. So it's going to use the same reservoir and everything because the reservoir is definitely big enough to hold the supply of fluid for the master and the brakes. Yeah. And what I'm going to figure out today is we may have to modify some poles and stuff but mm -hmm. I am going to figure out how to kind of basically like make some sort of mounting with a mechanism that is going to actually yeah. push this in. Yep. I'm gonna build it out of cardboard first. And then, the best part of yesterday, I know you guys missed a little bit, but I'm gonna talk it through. Everything underneath here yep. is factory, like it, like it is from, I know you can't really see, but everything yeah, under there is it, yeah. factory, like it is Can from, it yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me pop this, pop this other piece. 
You guys saw we started this yesterday. So, yep, everything under there is yeah. is factory. Um, nothing changed under there. Oh, so everything. Yeah, so what we figured out is we actually made a little mistake and we got kind of confused of which way it, one of what like, like which way like front to back and left to right and yeah. we we thought we made a mistake but then we thought we had to make some sort of lever system to do it in the opposite direction but we, we forgot is that if one cable runs one direction the other cable runs the opposite direction kind of like i was saying yesterday yeah is that now i figured out how to put it properly and what's crazy is i modified the cables but the cables are the original cables just modified and you can see now, so we got left to right. You can kind of hear it. I don't know with all the noise, but yeah. Yeah, we got yeah, every, yeah. and this is actually a Type S, so it's a six speed now. Oh, six speed? Yep. That me truck? What? Six speed and reverse. Nice. Let's go check it out out here. Yep. Genius, genius. That's oh. one built. What I was explaining yesterday and in the car as well is that how one cable is now going opposite direction and one cable, it, oh, opposite direction, but yeah, left and right. So one is pulling one way, one is pulling the opposite. So since they're in two different directions, that means that we didn't have to actually make one backwards because one technically is backwards. So now these brackets, we're going to shape them and sand them and shape them better and get them powder coated but these brackets are now pretty much permanent we were going to use them as um basically like a test but now that they actually shaped well and cleaned up well this sits into here we got the proper location so now uh this is your up and down movement and this is your left to right so you got your left to right on the stick and then you got your up and down movement right here as well so we have a bracket coming off the mount holding the front so that if the motor moves and jiggles, this will actually jiggle with the motor. And this is mounted to the trans like a traditional bracket. And that is gonna be able to utilize um, the OEM shifter with the cables. What's, right here, yep, yeah. what's crazy is all I did was I popped out this brass fitting right here and I drilled it a tiny bit bigger. And as you can see, we're gonna put some washers there and like a plastic nylon clips, just like an OEM. But this one actually fit in perfectly. So we just, there's a, a brass washer and they're gonna put some wa uh, washers on the sides and a nylon clip too later on when we take this back apart. But everything is set on the motor. So a little traditional, a little not traditional. And now if you wait here, I'll shift it on the inside. Like OEM, right? Yeah, go check it out. Feel it on camera. Tell, oh, oh, tell feel, feel, feel it, feel it on, okay. feel it on camera. Okay. You're gonna be like, oh, what? In the gas. Pedals Let's feel it on the camera. Let me feel that feel, cause you know. Feel, feel the shifting. Just, just shift, feel much like. I drive butter. a bunch of right. I mean, that's not like butter, right there. That's that's straight. Yeah, that's like man. That's like smooth, bro. That can, yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch of right hand side drive cars in Jamaica. We call it right hand side. We call them right hand drive. Right hand sides. <laughs> yeah, um, nice man. So next, next we just um. Gonna, today gonna, I'm playing with the clutch pedal. Clutch yeah, pedal. I, um, I'm definitely gonna play with the clutch pedal today. I might do a mixture of like the clutch pedal and uh, some wiring in the next uh, couple days. But yeah. we'll see with Sone. I'm gonna talk it over with Sone. Right, uh, cool. But yeah, the main thing today is to kind of. I'm not gonna necessarily make something maybe out of metal today, but I just need to we need to like kind of brainstorm some ideas because there's something not really that, a ton of so that way you can finalize yeah, some more. Finalize some more. Yeah, there's not really a ton of room in the front. Like people, you know, like we were thinking, oh, we could put it in the front, but then it will kind of make the front bumper not look good. So we're trying to see if we can hide it and keep it like you know as OEM on the inside too and yeah, on the yeah, outside. Because from here. Yeah. From here to the that's front, the it's front. Like, yeah. that's the front of the car. That's like, the look. front of the car. So it's you like, can't. And this bumper, like literally. this bumper is only like, and it looks big, but it really, it's you only get like this much room behind it. Right, cool. So we're going to try to figure that out. We got some stuff out here, trial and error business, yep. R&Ds. Yep. Right, I guys. think we're going to go with, we're going to go with something like this, I think. 
Okay. Something like one of these is kind of what we're gonna go with, like obviously a new one, okay. but that style. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna start working with like right now. Okay, cool. All right guys, Chad is on the pedal today. Nice job on the shifter setup right here. And we're gonna try to get some more wiring done. So stay tuned with us. Here's another close up right here of it. You can tell this is a piece right here. Got plasma, got welded right here, the bracket. Real close up, real close up. And here's a stock looking piece down here. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, and that's the one that, this one that curves around. I got a lot of updates, some improvements going on. What we got going on? Oh yeah, Bye. so I got um after some very long decision making, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> uh, this is the clutch pedal. Yep. And uh, the clutch pedal sits in the car. It actually sits in the in the truck like this. It doesn't sit like this. It sits like this in the truck. And when you push the clutch pedal, it's like you push down because of the. So let's just picture this, I guess. We'll kind of make like a whole design. You push the clutch pedal, it it's pivoting on a point, right? Yeah. So it sits here. So first, I was trying to figure out how to make it pivot and I was like trying to use one of these things and I'm like, oh, okay, I can use something like this to make it pivot in the opposite direction, but there's not enough space under there. So I came up with this idea to basically extend this. I can still bolt this on, but I'm gonna extend this, right? So. Made this found this little metal seat. So now now it's a little bit longer. So I'm going to be able to put this all the way on the edge like this. You see how much more room that gives us? Like that. So now if I hold this together and I pivot it, you'll kind of see how it pivots. If I push this in, this is going to move. So if I push this, the top is going to move as well. The reason why I have three holes at the top is because I'm not really sure the correct positioning yet. So this is like a prototype and I'm gonna figure out the positioning of the holes. But now you can see here, you see this plate on the ground. This plate is gonna go in front of it. So when you guys see it positioned in the car, yeah, when you see it positioned in the car, you'll kind of get like a better idea, but this is gonna to have to get welded to the chassis of the car with an additional mount. But now that you can kind of see what's going on here. There's a bunch of holes because I don't really know where I'm going to put it yet. So these, none of these holes may be good yet. I'm not sure. So, but what we're going to do here is this is going to push. And when that pushes, when you push this pedal down, it's going to push the slave, I mean the master in. And the master is going to be located on the inside of the car. So it's literally going to be in the car, in but the you're car, not going to okay. see it. It's going to be in the car under the dashboard, opposed to what most like a, people like a see. Setup. Yep, opposed to what most people see them on the outsides of their cars. This is going to be on the inside under the dashboard, tucked away. You can see in the car right there, there's a booster on this side. Yeah. And on the opposite side, on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Booster mag, right there. Yeah, there's nothing there except for wiring. We're going to actually. Nothing move but that. wiring out of the way a little bit and this is where this is going to get utilized on the opposite cool. side all right, so guys. i'll guys keep you guys posted on on what what this is the, yeah cut this from the um a plasma, right? yeah i cut this on the plasma i cut it on the card cardboard first and i kind of went over it with omar and omar cut these on the plasma for me so the other bracket that i'm going to weld with this i think i'm going to cut that by hand because i'm not 100 percent sure we don't know the geometry yet so when I put this together and I start figuring out how the geometry is gonna work properly, more vi visually, I have an idea, but I, I need to see it visually to, Visual to that. and, and to yeah, actually see how it's gonna work. Once I see the geometry better, uh, I may have to angle this differently. So like, depending on the angle of that, like kind of angle is like, how I'm saying is, this might not be perfectly straight. It might be tilted a little. It might have to be tilted this way a little bit. It might, but, which is all okay, as long as the fluid reservoir is, as long as the fluid is coming from above, whichever way this is flipped should, should, should still be okay. Um, and then we're gonna have Johnny come back up in here and make some fancy lines for this thing. And I see the, um, the fuel tank is mounted, all powder coated up. Oh yeah, you guys didn't Got see that because we're gonna take everything. it back out. We'll do we'll another, out. We're gonna do another, uh, another video on that. that. But yeah, we just put it up there just to make sure it fit right, but we're going to, we actually have to space it, but you guys will see that shortly. Yeah, nice. All right guys, stay tuned.
bring you some more case swap acne movements going on stay tuned like subscribe Slow. Say you in something we can't afford, but we got that cam to cord. That's this one, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All wheel clipping, four, four wheel clipping, flipping. This one, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All wheel clipping, four, four wheel clipping, flipping. We'll have you gripping, don't get caught slipping. Even on the streets, yeah, warming up that ASAP. Florida got the street cred, we all in down the street quick. Got that MSD switch, B series or a Z series, and that LSV tech. Hella clean, yeah. Tell them where to meet at, yeah, we go to Mexico. Race them for the things, slips, and ain't no 12 to catch us. So, case swap the world till we spin the globe. K20, MR2, and SXCRX with the K24. Rep in that EF, go back to the days of the HF, DX, the EX. Before them green, under glows. A few ain't see it, you must be running slow. Say you in something we can't afford, but we got that camera cord. That's this one, all wheel drive, got the mind